Welcome back to Excel HQ. Today we'll be going over the Goal Seek data analysis tool. And I have a few examples here to show you. Basically what the Goal Seek does is it gives you a desired result and it changes other values for you. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. So in our first example, we have loan amount, interest rate, and monthly payment. It's important that the monthly payment is derived through these other cells because these cells is going to be what is changing. So we'll go to data here in the data ribbon and then to our what if analysis and then click on goal seek. That'll bring up your set cell and two value. This is the same cell. So the set cell I want right now is D5, my monthly payment. And then I want to change this value to 80 because unfortunately right now I can't afford a monthly payment of 86.99. So I may need to bring down the amount that I can take out for a loan. So I'm going to have my by changing cell be my loan amount. And I'm going to press OK. And it's going to automatically change my loan amount for me to get my desired outcome of $80 a month. So if I go back now and say I want to change my interest rate, is there any possible interest rate that I could change it to that will make my monthly payment $80? Well, then my changing cell would just be interest rate instead of loan amount. And it's a negative amount, so it's not possible. In the second example, we have product one, the sales, product two, the sales for that one, and then the overall revenue, which is connected to all of these cells again in our formula. Say I want my revenue to be $3,000 and I want to do some scenario testing. I can go to goal seek, and then I can set my cell of revenue to $3,000 and I want to change how many sales I have with product two. So how many sales will I need to get more with product two in order to reach my desired goal of $3,000? I will need 280 sales, which is 80 sales more than I have right now. Let's say I wanted to test out something different. I'll go back to my goal seek. I'll set my value to $4,000 this time. If I had my value at $4,000 and say these are just my forecasted amount of forecasted 450, forecasted 200 sales, However, I really want to reach that 4,000 revenue. I'm going to do it by changing the price of product one. So in order to hit 4,000 revenue with these forecasts, I would need to increase the price to $5 and 56 cents. And that is basically how you use goal seek. It's very straightforward and also very helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below.